This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. election countdown in the state has begun uh, with barely any more time left uh, what will it be for the political parties here in the state of Tamil Nadu will it be muscle strength money power or freebie fury I'm Evelyn Matthew and we'll look into that story in detail but before that a quick look at the top stories on the news tonight it's an early summer election for the state of Tamil Nadu polling will be on the 30th of April Puducherry and Kerala also share the dates to be the first to go into the polls. For the first time, there will be a month's gap before results are announced on Friday the 13th of May. Meanwhile, the state government moves the Supreme Court asking them to vacate the stay on Legislative Council elections for Tamil Nadu. The Shutterbugs will have no show from the Spectrum King. A. Raja will now appear before the Delhi court through video conferencing. After the union budget fails to impress the common man, Karunanidhi lowers the sales tax on petrol in an election targeted strategy. A senior official of the State Boxing Association is put behind bars for harassing a woman boxer. A mob attacks the accused at the court. And as the Deputy Chief Minister MK Stalin turns 59, the BCK Chief joins DMK Carders to wish the air in waiting. Let's also bring you the rest of the day's news nationally. The process of setting up a parliamentary committee to investigate the country's largest scam begins. 11 death sentences, 20 sentenced to life. The Godra train verdict is announced by a special court. The Supreme Court says no to a fresh murder probe against the Todis in the Rizwanur case. And all my people love me maintains a defiant Gaddafi even as protesters close in on Tripoli. The United States calls him delusional. Well, our top story, the big date has been announced. Tamil Nadu will be going to the polls as early as the 13th of April and it is going to be a single-phase elections. The chief election commissioner who made that announcement uh, today added that the notification date is going to be the 19th of March and the fate then of all four states in one union territory going to the polls this year will be known on the 13th of May. While West Bengal notably will have a six-phased polls, the, mode, uh, the, the model code of conduct comes into effect immediately. And in fact, this time around, overseas Indians will be allowed to vote as well. There will be around 54,016 polling stations here in Tamil Nadu. And a toll-free number 1965 will be open to register complaints. Tamil Nadu, single phase again. Uh, the the, the same day for poll and same uh, the notification date, which is uh, notification th 19th March, date of poll 13th April. Puducherry again single phase, same date as uh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala, which is notification 19th March, date of poll 13th April. Well, we here at NDTV Hindu with our reporters Peer Muhammad and Ashmit Kumar spoke about whether the 13th of April and May may turn out to be lucky or unlucky for the state and the leaders of the political parties of the state. Our executive editor Sanjay Pinto also adds that the summer of 2011 will prove to be quite a hot one. This is the first time in the history of Tamil Nadu, I think, that there's been such a, there will be such a big gap, or a month exactly, between the date of polling and the date of counting. Now, parties have not yet, they have identified their allies, they have not yet actually signed uh, seat sharing agreements with all of them. The DM, uh, the Ms. Uh, Jailalita has allotted a few uh, seats to small uh, marginal players, but of course the big players, uh, DMDK, uh, MDMK, uh, they are yet to actually, uh, you know, sign that seat sharing pact. Again in the DMK camp, the Congress and uh, uh, Mr. Karunanadi are yet to ink that deal. They've had two rounds of talks which have been inconclusive. Yes. Uh, again, this demand for power sharing, the Congress wanting a larger share of the electoral pie this time around. 
not very happy with the fact that Mr. Karunanandi has gone ahead and given the PMK, uh, actually signed a deal with the PMK, giving them 31 seats, the same that they had uh, contested the last time around. Again, also signing up a deal, giving 10 seats to the VCK. So, parties now will have to, both sides, both sides of the divide, the, the AIDMK led front and the DMK led front, will have to really, uh, you know, have sprint virtually and get uh, the seat sharing. Uh, uh, talks, uh, uh, you know, uh, in progress and get them uh, out of the way. Uh, AADM case deal with the DMD case likely to be sealed by the by this week, according to the sources in the AADMK and the DMDK. They say maybe tomorrow or on Friday they will be because they are looking for an auspicious date when they can finalize the deal. Today being one of the inauspicious days, they uh, did not uh, come together to sign the deal. But uh, this week the AADMK and the DMDK will be signing the deal, according to. Top sources. Also, the, the the other factor that uh, they, uh, they okay, will. What about uh, number thirteen? Auspicious, uh, lucky or unlucky for that front? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's uh, again uh, in Western uh, uh, terminology, it's an uh, inauspicious day. But in uh, ADMK and DMDK's terminology, you have to see what they are thinking about it. We, they haven't reacted to it no, yet. Because it's both it's both the, the date of uh, polling as well as the date of counting yeah. that really matters. But again. Uh, uh, on a more serious note, uh, the campaign issue this uh, time really, I mean, is it going to be corruption mainly? I know the, the, the AIDMK has been going to the common man. There have been a slew of a spectrum of protests on corruption led by the AIADMK or virtually almost every district. Uh, they've also, Ms. Jayalalita has tried to, uh, in fact, uh, uh, simplify, you know, this uh, complicated spectrum jargon holding this, for instance, the ADMK unit in Kumbakonam held that Kolam contest with 2G where they wrote 1.76 lakh crore and so on and so forth. Again, the strategy seems to be to not call it uh, spectrum or 2G, but to just call it cell phone scam. Also, Ms. Jayalalita has reached out to various sections uh, this time around. She's also gone to Kanyakumari for Christmas celebrations. So, what do you think is going to be the big... Uh, election issue, the theme of this uh, this particular election? Yeah, definitely the family rule, uh, they are uh, hopping on two issues. One is the family rule, particularly the opposition, both Vijay Gandhi and Jailalitha are hopping on the family rule and also the uh, corruption, biggest corruption in uh, independent India. That is the uh, uh, slogan they are going to raise. Uh, who do you want, want to choose? Uh, the most corrupt regime uh, or the uh, uh, no other other one? Peer Mohammed there making the valid point about corruption, about uh, uh, dynastic politics there, the family rule. What about freebies? Because uh, to give the DMK credit, they have rolled out a slew, it's a soap opera of a different sort here. Even, uh, you know, the, this uh, today there was this uh, announcement there about, uh, you know, petrol uh, and, and, and about the subsidy. So clearly, uh, how much of a dent do you think uh, the DMK's freebie uh, culture, as it were, will actually tilt the scales or help them in this election? Uh, facing as they are anti-incumbency and also uh, the ghost of 2G which is well and truly there to haunt them. Well, Sanjay, you put it there pretty appropriately, soap opera. That's what uh, the DMK seems to be banking on. Now, again, they have, as you mentioned, again, a slew of SOPs in store for the Aam Aadmi. The finance minister may have given them the miss, but uh, the, the DMK and uh, the chief minister are definitely no mood to miss out on the Aam Aadmi because they definitely see this. Uh, seeing from all the actions that we are seeing from the DMK, definitely feels, uh, one is definitely getting the sense that they do feel that these SOPs will definitely have a have an impact, have a bearing on uh, the way people are going to vote, the way uh, people will perhaps uh, in a way tilt towards the DMK. They are definitely favouring that and of course as you mentioned today we did see again, the, the development. Stats. I mean you've been covering all these SEZs and so many, I mean the, the automobile hub that Chennai, uh, Chennai has become, uh, the, the insurance scheme. A lot of people uh, believe at least, uh, uh, you know, they, they, what we've observed at least in corporate hospitals, gone are the days when you know, the lower middle class people will not really be able to set foot into a corporate hospital. Today, that seems to be a sign of empowerment where you have very ordinary citizens going and availing treatment, the best treatment in corporate hospitals, thanks to the, the Kalinear insurance scheme, also the housing scheme. Uh, last time around, uh, they said that, the, in fact, Mr. Chidambaram had called the DMK manifesto the hero of the election. That's when color TVs really did the trick. But this time around, there's also been talk of power, fa power failure and several other law and order has also been cited as an issue. Uh, again, uh, do you think it's, uh, you know, the analogy of Queen Mario Antoinette, if there's no bread, eat cakes, this time around if there's no uh, power, watch TV, do you think that could uh, uh, be one of the points that the opposition could raise? 
But it's hard to say, but then uh, the DMK at this point seems to be taking a very comprehensive approach in terms of offering SOPs. Uh, as you pointed out very correctly, there, there is the health insurance scheme and that obviously comes on the back of the fact that uh, the, some of the taxes in, in, in terms of healthcare have been high, so that should definitely act as an incentive. Also the fact that today we saw petrol, now petrol uh, uh, in the run-up to the budget we saw was a very prime concern, so today the prices were slashed. And in fact, we are also getting uh, just reports uh, just a few minutes back that only a few minutes before SY Krishi made the statement about uh, about the election dates, uh, did the government give a nod for another set of 17 road projects, in fact, which have been given the go-ahead. So again, a lot of uh, favours, a lot of SOPs have actually been uh, pulled through here to actually uh, attract votes this time. The cast factor, uh, how do you think this is going to really play out? The PMK, of course, the one-year belt uh, in northern Tamil Nadu, you've also got the VCK uh, on the side of the DMK, and the other side, of course, uh, you've got uh, the DMDK again. Uh, uh, many say that uh, the PMK cannot claim monopoly of uh, the one-year vote share. The AIDMK also has its tra traditional pocket uh, boroughs. How do you see the caste factor really playing out as the parties' uh, respective front stand, given the way the, the alliances have been cobbled up? Uh Yes, uh, last uh, in 2006, uh, the factor is that uh, the VCK was with the AADMK, and uh, that is why the vote split on both the sides. Uh, no, it was a divided verdict. Now that the uh, PMK and VCK are in the DMK can, uh, camp, it is going to be advantage DMK in northern districts. But uh, given the kind of support Vijay Gandhi enjoys in the northern districts, it is going to be quite challenging. So it will be a, a balanced, equally balanced uh, camps on both the sides. Sides. It will be a tough. It is going to be a tough fight on both the sides. You're watching the news tonight on NDTV Hindu. Up ahead, it's going to be a no-show for the paparazzi when A Raja will be asked questions by the Delhi court. So why is he shied away? Find out when we come back.